-hmm. So you mentioned this sort of um, potentially double-edged sword with in terms of you know the telomeres getting critically short uh, and telomerase activity going down and that leading to cellular senescence. We've had Dr. Judy Campisi on the podcast. We've talked a lot about senescence, yes. but or even apoptosis. Or you said they can become immortal when mm -hmm. telomerase becomes overactive, and the, you know so basically it's just constantly rebuilding the telomeres. Um, and, and immortality in some cases with the overactive telomerase associated with certain types of cancer. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you? What would you say? Like you know, measuring you just talking about measuring telomerase activity in in um, white blood cells, and that's sort of a marker for you know the the aging pro or how well a person's aging or how well the, well the cells are aging. Mm -hmm. Is that is there something like is there like a threshold for when it becomes too active and it's like a cancer cell? Like can you detect that? The difference, like, is it when it's like always active? Well, so in our research, we always make sh um, we're not measuring any cancer cells. Otherwise, I mean, they're tenfold higher in telomerase, so tenfold. it would mess up our measures. Okay. Yeah, so it becomes in cancer cells. It's kind it becomes, of what I was asking, like, yeah, what degree? it becomes like um, out of the physiological normal range. So, okay. Yeah. So it is true that when you that tumors develop a mechanism so that the telomerase is so high and they kind of immortalize themselves in that way. So the telomeres can be really short and maybe that's how there was a mutation in the first place, but the telomerase is very protective, so it gets right. very high. Yeah, so you know, this is a, a telomeric aging is complex. It's not just longer is better. In general, longer is better um, and long telomeres genetically or measured in the blood pre predict less heart disease, less mm -hmm. metabolic disease. But actually, longer telomeres, especially by when you measure the genetic index, but sometimes also when you measure it in the blood, long telomeres also predict greater risk of certain cancers, mm. like glioma and melanoma and several others. So it is, you know, it's homeostasis, it's physiology. You want to be long, but not extremely long if you want to kind of have right. the best ratio of low risk for degenerative diseases like dementia and heart disease and low risk for cancer.